Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to another Simple Gear Project. Simple Gear Project number three. Now, when I go out in the woods, there are a few things I always take. I always take water. I always take a, a way that I can get a brew, a metal mug. I always take a cutting tool with me, some form of shelter. It's those bits and pieces that I always pack in. And one of those items that is always in there in one form or another is one of these. It's a pruning saw, it's one of my bigger ones. Actually, <clears throat> the one I most regularly carry is my little open L one, and I find that is all I need. But in this video, we're gonna look at the times when one of these is not enough and something you can carry with you to make your life a little bit easier. Now, when the weather's colder like it is now, you're gonna have bigger fires and the fires are gonna be running for longer and you're gonna need a bigger saw than just the pruning saw to process those larger amounts of firewood. What a lot of people do nowadays is they, they carry a folding frame saw of some description. It might be a lovely handcrafted wooden one, it might be a folding metal one. There are lots and lots of ones out there. But you don't always want to carry a full-size saw with you. Instead, what you could do is just carry the saw blade and make a frame while you're in the field. And this is an idea that's been knocking around for years. I heard Maud Kahansky talk about it years ago. Ray Mears famously uh, told us about carrying a, a bow saw blade curled up in your billy can. It's a really, really good idea. The only problem I found with that was as you take it out, suddenly you've got this piece of sprung steel that can whip about all over the place if you're not careful. Morska Hansky also talks about carrying one in your belt and I've seen people use money belts and all types of other belts to carry their saw blade. And I think that's a really good idea. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can make one of those. It's a combination of a couple of different ideas from a couple of different people. Number one, Morsey's belt idea. Number two, when I was reading a, an article by Paul Kirtley and he was talking about um, carrying a spare blade for his folding bow saw in a, in a bag. And to protect him and his gear from the, the aggressiveness of the saw blade, he used that wonderful stuff, Velcro, hook and loop fastener. And I thought, now that is a good idea. And what I came up with was this. It's a belt that can hold your trousers up, it's fully adjustable, it's easy and simple to make. Now I've sewn this one, but if you hang on to the end of the video, I'll tell you a way you can do this without any sewing. So here it is. This is what I've come up with, and it's a simple trouser belt. It's made using 50 millimeter polypropylene, poly, polypropylene webbing, a very simple strap buckle, and these are great. They're strong, durable, very cheap, and they're less likely to break on you than the Fastex ones. They're also not as bulky. I've also used some 50 millimeter webbing, uh, Velcro, good grippy stuff. And as far as lengths go, well, you just need to measure around your waist to find out how much webbing you need. I used about a meter and a half. You not only want some for holding your bow saw blade, but you also want some for the actual adjustment as well. I bought a meter, which was more than enough. And the last thing you need is a bow saw blade. And I went for a 24 inch, all purpose bow saw blade. So my first task was to sew on the Velcro. And I sewed it on about 10 centimeters down from one end. Once that was sewn on all the way down, I'm only sewing the one side of the Velcro on, the softer side. 
I then stitched in my little strap buckle. And all I did with that was a simple box gate stitch over it. Simple job, takes a couple of minutes. With that done, I then went to the other end of the strap. And on the opposite side to where my Velcro is, I put on another piece of the softer Velcro. I then left a five centimeter gap. I've then sewn on the hook side of the Velcro. And that is it. You don't need to do anything else. I've sewn my Velcro in place on the back, my Velcro in place on the front, and I've sewn in my little strap buckle. The last thing I need to do is just insert my saw blade. And here it is, tucked away, nice and safe, and secure inside my belt. And that sits on the inside. To do the belt up, you just thread it through your belt loops, pass one end through your strap buckle, pull it around, and lock it back on itself, like so. So it's a really adjustable, user-friendly, very simple belt. Suitable for holding your, your little EDC pouches or any other goodies because it's slightly stiffened and it literally takes about 20 minutes to knock up. Now, I did mention that you could do this as a no sew project. Buying the Velcro, I just bought plain normal Velcro, but you can buy Velcro that is adhesive on either both sides or one side. If you use the adhesive stuff on one side, you won't have to sew it on, it just sticks to the belt. And the belt, well I got the idea for this belt from a current army issue PCS trouser belt and you can pick those up for five six quid on eBay and then you just stick your velcro to the back of it insert your saw blade and you're good to go a very simple survival saw belt that takes you minutes to make it means you've always got a bow saw blade to hand for if you need a bigger saw in another video I'll show you how to make up the frame so you can use this as that full size saw. Now, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, remember to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, remembering to hit that notifications bell so you can see when we've got good stuff coming up. And there is gonna be some good stuff coming up. Certainly at the moment, there's a good need for, to have some projects that you can be cracking on with if you're locked down in England. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Facebook. There are links in the description box down below. There's also a link in there to my Patreon page and also to my Etsy shop, which I'm busy sewing away in the background, getting some new stock in, in stock, ready for my next sell-off. Keep an eye on the channel and keep an eye on the shop for updates on when the next lot of gear is going up for sale. I think that's everything. I've been Neil. Until next time, stay safe.